What is up, what is up, what is up, YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. Happy Anime Monday. It's gonna be my new segment I'm gonna create now. It's gonna be called Anime Monday, where I create anime characters on Monday. So, let's jump right into it. So, this time around, when I made my character, I did not use a mannequin like I usually do. I decided to just jump right into it and see how I fare. And I do apologize. I really messed up on this character's arms and hands when I created it and I was like, oh snap, this is horrible. So yeah, I messed up pretty good on the hands. But um, realistically, just really feel out your character. Like you always see me doing, always feeling out, drawing certain parts of the body. As you see here, I got the big giant orange as the crotch area, and then I got the weird looking bowling pins and you know the guitar pig like I always do. Just just what I always do. But instead of drawing the skeletal form like I did like usual, I started to just start drawing the clothes right onto the body of my character. And um it actually worked out for me pretty well. I usually don't do this. I usually always do the bare bones first and I just do this. But then you can tell at the end of the product where I messed up at, where you can see where certain things were unproportionate. And so using those mannequins really do help out your character when it comes to drawing certain types of lengths and focal points and things here and there. It really does help out. But this is just for fun, just because it is Monday, and like I said, Annie Monday. You gotta be drawing some anime characters. And this character, I don't know why I drew her the way I drew her. I was just having fun, just freehanding it, and I was just getting down. I just didn't really care. I was like, whatever, I'll just draw whatever I feel like drawing, and this is what I did. Um, and for something for me, for some reason, I for my characters, I haven't been drawing their faces. Like, I'll draw their head, their hair, everything. And I'll draw their nose and maybe their mouth, but I'll usually leave their face blank. I'm not sure why I've been doing that lately, but I think I might be just like in a, like an artist block where I'm just not really good at drawing eyes. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. As you can see here, this is where I first messed up at, and I had a pause just while looking at it, and I was like, one arm's longer than the other. Snap, and I messed up. And it's okay to have small mistakes here and there, and you know, you don't really have to make everything picture perfect as long as you're just having fun creating your artwork and that's what I highly recommend when you're making your artwork like I am right here I'm just having fun um, Mondays is usually a day I usually don't draw but I'm gonna try getting more images up on Mondays and uh, I just hope you guys really enjoy this as you see it's coming together very nicely and just really just banging it out this image took me about uh, a half an hour to do the rough sketch and then to ink and finalize it took me like another hour and a half to do all that mess but um, yeah, realistically, um, once you get good enough from practice, like I've been telling you guys in the past, once you get your mannequins down, you can start drawing just like this, just right out the bang. You know, you can just start going heads on, heads first without drawing the mannequins. And that's what realistically in my older videos with the bareback um, lessons and things I've been teaching you guys about with the mannequins, using the food groups and things to help you draw your mannequins, uh, objects like the guitar pick and the bowling pin and peanuts, and drumsticks and things like that. The reason why I was saying those are really good ways to help yourself improve yourself drawing the body so you can just jump right into it like this. And uh, some people are talented. They can just do this right off the back of their hand and they do it, you know, but then you might lose focus like I did here. So you can see the, the right arm holding the gun is ridiculously way better looking than the left arm, which looks like it was shrunken. I probably should have edited it and made it just a little bit longer, but I was like, whatever, I'm just having fun. Play some good music in the background, listening to some uh, Sonic Adventures 2 soundtrack while making this, just really enjoying it. And uh, it came out really good at the end of the day. But um, yeah, when you're making your anime characters, uh, you can make them unproportionate. You can make them weird looking, bulky looking. If you've ever seen any animes, then you would know that not all the time the people in animes are proportionate. Sometimes they might have like seriously long arms versus their body, uh, crazily ripped out for no reason, um, you know, overpowered and things like that. This one's just a basic character I drew up, and you know, I had some fun with it. And that's pretty much it for this video. I am also thinking about taking a segment out of this video when I was shading just to do like a tutorial on how shading so if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how to shade uh, please hit that like button comment down below if you guys want a tutorial on how to do it in Adobe Illustrator quick ways to shade um, I can teach you guys how to do that real quickly really easily it's very simple but uh, yeah that's 
pretty much the video when it comes to drawing. I'm going to speed up the clips now for the finalization for the remainder of the video. And I hope you guys enjoy it. But it's your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. Happy Annie Monday. Your boy out. Rate, comment, subscribe. Hit that like button. All that bullshit. Y'all right.